Right, this should work nicely. We've got the audio sorted. Righty then. I was going to do Nitros Rush first, but attempts to get that working weren't too successful with the laptop. So I've now got a second laptop doing the actual capturing while the, uh, the main one does the gaming. And as you can see, this is Shitty Quest, which is quite an ironic title name actually, as it does its purpose quite nicely, as you shall see. It sets out to be mostly a test platform to see, on because this is actually made by Jim Plays Games, a test bed to experiment in game production. And it is his first game. Released as freeware, so you can easily download and play it. I have to find a download link for it again. So we shall go on a new campaign, and I have completed this. I had to get a hint from him on how to complete the first puzzle, but actually that was just due to my own incompetence. Well, this looks like shit. <laughs> and of course, it's nice and simple to use. I don't want that. It's shit. As you can see, there's a certain theme going on here. It's locked. How shitty. Oh, I thought it was going to go, how predictable. Holy shit. Dead body. How many dead bodies do you know sit with their hands behind their head? Well, none so far, but you do look quite inactive. <laughs> and you smell. <laughs> that, my good man, is the smell of unbridled uselessness. It's good. It's got good old Jim's humour in it. Who are you? I don't have a name. So what does the designer call you? Lazy. What a hypocrite. <laughs> Why are you sitting on the floor? There aren't any chairs. Right. <laughs> This place looks so shitty. I don't know, I think it serves its purpose quite well. And what purpose is that? To have a place to sit down with your hands behind your head. That's it. As far as you know. <laughs> and also, well, Mr. Packability is the other voice actor. <laughs> it's pretty much Jim and Packability who did the voice acting in this. and. I don't know if Jim got assistance with the design or not. Are you going to be of any use? Well, I have a useful object, but I want something in return. Like what? Something that reminds me of myself. Hmm. Is that your ex? I didn't even notice it. Right. <laughs> <sighs> I'm bored of this conversation. <laughs> well, I found it riveting. And you can see there's a certain the human The item is a potential murder weapon. Wicked. <laughs> right, now we go up to the infantry, which is up here. Hopefully this axe will have some use that isn't shitty. And of course, well, why not use it on the lazy guy? Cut that out. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, do you want this axe? No, it's too useful. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Right, let's exit out the door and go to the main. But this is the bit that had me foxed for ages, but I didn't know what to do. Also, I had troubles getting this running on my laptop. I had to get it running in full screen mode. And now it's running in full screen mode. It's good. Box to keys. <laughs> ah. Ooh, I'm outside and there's colour, but it's still shit. <laughs> to the house. Okay, to the house. Okay, go away, Axe. There we go. Whee! It suddenly walks rather fast, don't you think? Why do we want a twig? Who knows? Anybody home? I know someone's in there. No, you go. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, silence. <laughs> Then you can go for it. I've already ignored you once. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Indeed it did. No, I've got... Uh, uh. Why am I so incompetent? This door is apparently made of a non-shitty material. 
<laughs> Wait, if I smash the window, I'll get glass in my face. And I like my face. I like your face. <laughs> Let's keep the axe. Hopefully this axe will have some... Yeah, the only thing I would say is a potential suggested improvement is when you Hopefully click on stuff, it does have a tendency to repeat. That's really the only bit of constructive criticism I could give at the moment from playing through it so far. Now we're going to actually do the puddle the proper way. All these broken door fragments fit easily into my trousers. <laughs> I'm not sure how, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> There's a certain little bit of fourth wall self-awareness to this game as well. Right out of this. Bored of this conversation. Well, I found it riveting. Now, here we go. Do you want these broken door fragments? Absolutely. Those are completely useless. Take this in exchange. It's the key to the door in the other room. You mean the door I just hacked to pieces? Yes, that one. You really are useless, aren't you? Tell you what. Here's my knob. What? <laughs> the door knob from the door fragments. That's still relatively useful. Compared to a key to a door that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, thanks. There isn't much I can do in the way of commentary that this game doesn't already do itself. But now, we're going to meet the designer. Right. Key, no, doorknob. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I can't move. I know. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't hurt you. That would take more animating. <laughs> what do you mean? Who are you? I'm the designer. I made this game. You can tell he did some synth on his voice. I'd imagine using Audacity, because that's a very common program. So I'm just a character in a game. Yeah. Don't get indignant about it. This scene is derivative enough already. <laughs> Why can't I move? Because I don't need you to anymore. Just keep talking for now. Something will happen soon enough. Well, this place looks much better than the rest of the game. Thanks. Although that isn't saying much. Well, this game is just a test to see what I could do. <laughs> it's pretty much over with at this point. What's on those screens? That's the next game I'm working on. I think it's a shoot from up. What's the new game going to be like? It will have much better graphics, characters and story. It might even be funny. Much better than you. Lazy <laughs> waste of time guy of this place anyway. So just a shitty game character. With no backstory, motivation, or even distinguishable things. Well, I had to start somewhere. I'm not happy about this. Why? I don't want to die. You'll live forever in multiple places. This doesn't have any green <laughs> It's shit. Yeah, I guess you'll effectively die then. Sorry. <laughs> Living this is even worse. It's like purgatory. You won't know any different. How do you know this isn't the tenth time you've been played? That's even worse still. See what I mean about 4-4? Four, four. You're abandoning this game before it's done, just like you always do. You just don't have the patience for game development. I bloody do. You'll procrastinate and make excuses and never finish it. Alright, that's enough from you. <laughs> Well, this looks like shit. He reset the game, but I remember what happened. I knew he didn't know what he was doing. <clears throat> Maybe I can stop him. Now I have an antagonist and motivation. It's almost like a real adventure. <laughs> We've been through this. It won't open. I don't want that. It's shit. And so we continue on. Axe is gone. What axe? 
The axe that I took? Don't you remember? No, but if you took it, that's why it's not there. No, I mean... Never mind. I need the key to the door in the other room. What makes you think I have it? Don't you? Well, yeah, but I want something in exchange for it. Something that reminds me of... We don't have time for this. I can't get you the broken door fragments without the axe. Ooh, broken door fragments. That sounds nice. So useless. For fuck's sake, I'm trapped. I need your help. We have to stop the designer. Why? Because we'll be deleted. Why should that bother me? Don't you want to live? Nah, it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Don't you care that I'll die? Who are you again? <laughs> it's wasteful. Good. Oh, forget it. Gladly. I need your help. We have to stop the designer. Why? Because he insulted you. What did he say? He said you were lazy. That's a compliment. He said you were just here to waste time. What do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> he said you were smelly. No, that was you. So you remember? <laughs> no, I don't remember anything before the reset. I didn't mention the reset. This isn't the dialogue option you're looking for. This isn't the dialogue option I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, forget it. Gladly. <laughs> I need your help. We have to stop the design. There's Star Wars reference there. He's not being fair to us. How so? He's keeping all the good graphics to himself. At least it's not a text adventure. I don't know. I like text adventures. <laughs> then why don't you go east? <laughs> He locked us in this place with only a crappy painting and an axe to entertain ourselves. Well, I'm entertained. <laughs> He's wasting our potential. Waste is my potential. Mm. Oh, forget it. Gladly. I need your help. We and you can see there's a fair amount of dialogue it. options. Why? And so, how's the thing doing on the recorder? Yeah, it looks happy. It's been going for how long? God knows. <laughs> it's lost five frames. Because we're just his crazy experiments. Why should that bother me? He's just using us to learn how to make a better game. You mean I'll have been useful? Yes. He must be stopped. Okay. <laughs> Come with me. But I don't have a walk cycle. Just use mine. Fine. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you gotta give kudos. <laughs> what once was useless, that's got to be a metaphor for something. What once was useless, now is vital. That's got to be a metaphor for something. <laughs> My scrap collecting? <laughs> I can't believe it. It doesn't work. Oh. I was sure it was for that door. Maybe it's for the safe behind the painting. The what? Didn't you look behind it? No, I assumed it was just there to look good. Right, because it looked so good. <laughs> the colors. It's like that in his house. See what I mean about how he neglected us? Yeah, what a lazy fucker. <laughs> Can you tell I like this? <laughs> Is that a fez? No, it's a big red button. I wonder what it does. Well, we've got nothing to lose. Let's find out. We like big red buttons. It's a very stereotypical big red button. <laughs> Maybe if you press it, we'll get a typical stereo. <laughs> Here goes. Wait. The designer. He's so colorful. Don't press that button. Why? What does it do? It's the abort button. It will put a stop to my plans for the next game. Think of the characters. <laughs> and you got the dialogue options? I'd be doing the next game's characters a favor. 
How long did you spend drawing us? It's like you made us crappy on purpose. You're right. I wasn't really trying at first. <laughs> I will be better next time. Fat chance. <laughs> Do you know how many projects he's abandoned? <laughs> so what is this next day going to be about? It's about an alien who crash lands on a planet and has amnesia. Oh, amnesia. That's new. <laughs> what happens to us while you focus on the new game? I could put you in the new game. As cameos or something. Right. Stick figures with no personality are a great addition to anything. <laughs> you certainly aren't lacking in personality. You're not just lazy, you're negative and discouraging. Oh, and you're not? Telling him I'll procrastinate and give up? Why did you put an abort button here anyway? Isn't it obvious? He's got so used to abandoning projects that he's incorporated a fail button into the game. Did you design this game with this end in mind? No, I had no idea where it would go. It just grew organically. And he just happened to incorporate a character whose main trait is calling everything shit. And another who emphasizes uselessness and laziness. And a final confrontation that revolves around an abort button. How many projects have you abandoned? I'm not actually sure. He doesn't have what it takes. That's why I got so annoyed when you said he would just procrastinate. He knows it's true. Maybe he's right. How do you know what I said to the designer? You told me. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. What does it matter? You're both right. Go on and press it. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh finally now for some real inactivity it's got multiple ending this is one of the endings I find your lack of faith <laughs> disturbing <laughs> but seriously I did start this game as just a quick test and I just kept adding to it and eventually this theme just emerged I guess the idea of fighting my inner demons of procrastination and laziness has been on my mind. So I certainly sympathize with the destructive decision to press the button. <laughs> I've been working on this game quite intensely, and I think it's been quite a successful test. However, if you've not pressed it, you may have found the alternate ending more interesting. Do you want to return to the point of decision and take the other choice? And to find that out, well... You're going to have to download and play the game yourself. But I quite enjoyed the other ending. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. It's a much better ending the other way. There's lots more stuff. The design <laughs> is so colourful. Don't press that <laughs> button. Why? What does it do? It's the abort button. It will put a stop to my plans for the next game. Think of the characters. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. This may have started out shitty, but it has potential. You made an effort with the designer room, and this is a half-decent final confrontation. Yeah, especially since I'm just making it up as I go along. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why bother when there are so many superior games out there? Do you really think you can be as funny as Monkey Island, <laughs> or as dramatic as Beneath a Steel Sky, or as haunting as Loom? No, I guess not. So what? Just because you can't be perfect, it's not worth trying? Exactly. Bollocks. You had fun doing this, right? Yeah, actually. <laughs> so that's reason enough to try. Don't listen to him. Being lazy is so much easier. <laughs> I should delete this guy. He's a bad influence. I think you're right. Sorry, lazy. You're not helping. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't delete him. You think you can just delete laziness? What the fuck? Oh no. Now you see my true form. <laughs> A floating cloud of shit. <laughs> no! Well, in a sense, yeah. <laughs> I am his laziness given form. And I can't let you encourage him anymore. Why? Because if I stop being lazy, then he will cease to exist. Right, and I like existing. 
Oh, how about we all just relax? <laughs> yeah, he's right. I don't feel like doing this anymore. I'm gonna have a lie down. What did you do? Here, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, we gotta show you this ending. I know it means a puzzle for anyone potentially going for it, but I reckon it should. I've gotta stop him somehow. But how do you destroy laziness? That is the key. Bloody hell! You again? What have you done? Redecorate. You're deleting everything. Like you said, it's all shitty anyway. So why do you care? Can't we come to a compromise? Maybe the designer can be lazy on weekends or something. No, you forced the issue. Any motivation is a threat to me now. I need him completely useless. <laughs> Isn't this a little industrious for you? Hardly seems lazy to go to all this effort. You are defying your mention by trying so hard. <laughs> Therefore, you will negate your own... I guess it's a Star Trek reference. Why didn't you just press the red button? It wouldn't be enough now. You've motivated him too much already. I need to destroy this place. Leave him with nothing to feel remotely proud of. You're just a massive shit on me. Goes with the thing. <laughs> I'll find a way to stop you. You'll just tire yourself out trying. You can't stop laziness. <laughs> it's thermodynamics. <laughs> Entropy. Death. I liked you better when you were just some weird guy sitting on the floor. Just bugger off. You bugger off. Bastard. Yeah. Just bugger off. You bugger off. Grabbed it. Hey, give that back. <laughs> nope. It's mine now. through this. It won't open. It's some sort of anti-energy lazy bastard orb thing. <laughs> it's closed again. Also, it's not smashed to pieces. I think I should stand back a bit for this. I'm going to lazy the shit out of this door. <laughs> How you get a lazy door? God only knows. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Asshole! He's gone to the designer's place! The computers that control the world are in there! Got my axe back! Time to chop up some lazy blob monster thing. It's not going to work. I'm gonna have to go through the window. <laughs> now you can break the window. <laughs> I think this is the only way in. This is going to hurt. <laughs> now this looks like shit. Beautiful, isn't it? No, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Have you put on weight? The inevitable result of laziness. No, <laughs> just bugger off. I was hoping you'd say that. Seems you're losing your touch. That should have been enough to knock you out for good. How are you resisting my laziness? I'm not sure. Time to die, bastard face. Mm -hmm. Bastard! You disintegrated my axe! Laziness is all consuming, man. <laughs> I like how it sounds a bit like a hippie when he says that. <laughs> I guess he lazied the door out of existence while I was busy getting a head injury. I've got my axe back. I wonder why this keeps reappearing here. Hey, 
Hey, wake up. Huh? We've got to stop the lazy monster blob demon thingy. Calm. Too difficult. <laughs> Sounds like me after a day of uni. <laughs> Snap out of it. Why bother? How do you defeat laziness? Haircut. Rig. <laughs> what? Give me some inventory or something. Oh. He's deleting the game. Doors. <laughs> the bastard has fucked up your design room. <laughs> bastard. I can't figure out how to stop him. Brush. What? Death. Yeah, but how do I kill him? Axe. His lazy orcs don't seem to affect me anymore. Head. Focus for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is futile. Resist. I've got the axe. What can I do with it? Hit. Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I could resist his laziness after my head injury. So maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> See why my commentary is a needed here, can't you? What the fuck, man? I had to get your attention with an axe to the face. <laughs> I'm not feeling lazy anymore, right? It's kind of hard to laze about with an axe in your face. Precisely. <laughs> like those people who have a brush with death and then seize the day or something. I'll seize your neck. <laughs> First, I have something to take care of. <laughs> huh? How did I get here? I can't move. I know. <laughs> How did you? I had a brush with death. So now I'm going to seize the day and stop being lazy. No, wait, please. <laughs> Remember all the great times we had? All the things we didn't do? All the places we didn't go? All the lives we made no difference in? The vast body of work that you never even began. Don't you just feel like taking it easy? No. Quit. <laughs> Twig? I have no idea. So, what happens now? Are you going to delete me for putting an axe in your face? Or maybe just because I'm a shitty test character? No. If you hadn't done that, this would all be gone. Along with my plans for the next game. And the moral of the story is, the best cure for laziness is an accident. <laughs> no, it's that you should motivate yourself before things get that bad. Actually, <laughs> it's that the fight against laziness never ends. He's still alive. Yes, you only weaken me for now. You can never win. But I can keep fighting you. So it isn't over. No, it's only begun. And there you go. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's got good humour. It serves its place. Simplistic graphics, but that goes with the whole style of the story. And also the puzzles aren't completely obscure. Village Ellie can be known as shitty blob thing. <laughs> I would highly recommend you all download this game and give it a go. There'll be a download link in the description. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Now we're going to pause this and review the footage to make sure it all came out right.